just about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I'm not sure I have ever heard a louder crowd in any arena in the world than this here Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Athletes are ready to go. Let us now see how this matchup plays out. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alan Brahma Japan. Herb Dean, third Ready party fight? in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, so here we are back at Bell Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and D.C. This is the loudest MMA venue that I have ever been in in my life. John, I feel the same thing. UFC 124. When I walked out of the back with Josh Koscheck, I had never heard anything like the crowd in the Bell Center before he fought George St. Pierre. These people cheer, and they cheer loud for their guy. Joe Band gets caught by the straight punch. Oh! Hard knees, hard knees. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice crack there. Just missed with the left there. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice straight right, Lance. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. Whipped on the uppercut there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, I can't. Oh! There's a kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch from the clinch by Alan Chovic. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. 
Right hook to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it going in the fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Inside leg kick landed there by Shore. Oh, nice. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And now the jab gets through. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head with. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Joe Van gets lit up by that straight punch. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Looking to land the right just out of range. the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Choi's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it, and every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. It got checked. Oh, he blocked that shot and lands the hook on the counter. Nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick to the body. Oh, he leads with the right hand there. A lot of these strikes are set up by good footwork, yes? They are set up by good footwork, and he's not having to throw the jab every time because that right hand is just so fast. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, great block there. I quietly lands to the head. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just out of the range with that right hand. Beautiful kicks. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, just misses with the kick. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now, he's... Oh, right kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big left. Oh, big old. Joe Bant's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, 
but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Missed on the right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets turned in, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Really nice defense there. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Final seconds here of round two. That's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonay will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. Oh, perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, swing and a miss on the counter. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job. He's hurt. Big shot to the body. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. That shot blocked by Jobin. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate.
Choi gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you gotta admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Choi's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much. Oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. This man is landing brutal ground and pop. In the half guard, the Korean Superboy gets back up. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Under two minutes to go. Choi's eyes closing up now. Not good for him. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice defense there. Huge block. And he lands the hook. Closes the gap and gets the single collar timeout. Joban gets caught by the straight punch. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Joban's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. One minute now to go in the third. Nice defense there, huge block. That one, that right hand. Oh, that was beautiful. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh. Under 20 seconds now to go. You know, I gotta tell you, I'm not sure that his face could be much more swollen at this point in time. Gotta raise that guard. You gotta get the high guard. I mean, at this point, John, you gotta forget everything else and get the guard up high, keep the elbows in tight, and try to make sure that nothing lands clean on your face. Because every time, you're gonna just get more and more swollen. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Hook to the head, lands flush there by the Korean Super Bowl. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautiful punch lands. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Joe Bans. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's going to chase down that finish. 
choice passes tonight. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Jobin. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. That's it! That's it! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight.